Good morning children today we shall learn about insulators and conductors of heat so what are these can you eat steaming hot rice no but if you leave the steaming hot rice or freshly fried samosas on the plate for some time you will find it will cool down and then you can eat without burning your mouth correct children same way if we keep a pot of hot water in open it will cool down after some time if you keep your hand above the hot water you will feel warmth you know warmth is caused by heat the hot water is releasing heat energy to the environment so heat is getting transferred now if we put an iron pot on oven or a gas stove soon the whole pot becomes hot but if we see the flame is touching very little part of pot then how come the whole of the pot is hot it means the heat which the pot gets from the flame has spread in the pot so the heat can travel through the solids now let us see can heat travel through all the solid objects let us take a pot of hot water and put one end of an iron bar a plastic scale a wooden pencil a pair of stainless steel scissors in the pot after few minutes if we touch the ends of each object which is outside the water what do you feel this end of the iron bar is warm even though it is not touching the hot water which means heat has transferred from one end to the other end of the iron bar but the other ends of the plastic scale and wooden pencil are cold so here the heat did not transfer now coming to the pair of scissors its ends to feel warm though not in contact with the hot water so we see heat can travel through the steel and also iron as we saw in the case of iron bar what do we learn from this that heat can pass through some materials not all materials materials which allow heat to pass through them are called conductors for example steel iron or any metal are conductors of heat materials which do not allow heat to pass through them or we can say which are poor conductors of heat are called insulators like wood plastic etc so now you can easily tell why there are plastic handles on the utensils which we use for cooking as we saw this plastic is an insulator so it does not become very hot when we are cooking food by putting the utensil on the stove so we can hold and move the hot utensils easily holding the plastic handle in the story we saw kushi was holding the bucket while the heat boy was heating up the bucket to make the water warm though the bucket was very hot she couldn't feel any heat because she was holding the wooden part of the handle and we all know wood is an insulator which does not conduct heat also in the story aman saved his childhood friend the heat man by using an insulator only how when the ice man was attacking the heat man the heat man started diminishing but aman came to his rescue 
Aman insulated the heat man from the freezing cold waves of the ice man using a wooden basket. Inside the wooden basket, heat man could gather his power again as the heat was not going out. When we put the pair of scissors in the hot water, it became warm. It means the heat travelled from the hot water to the pair of scissors. When we keep a hot thing in open, heat gets transferred to the relative cool environment. So the thing cools down. On the other hand, if we keep ice cream in open air, heat from the warmer environment transfers into the ice cream and the ice cream becomes warmer. So it melts down. So you can understand in all these cases, the heat flows from a hotter object to a colder object. So remember, the materials which allow heat to pass through them easily are conductors of heat. For example, iron, copper, steel, etc. And the materials which do not allow heat to pass through them easily are called insulators. They are poor conductors of heat. For example, plastic, wood, etc. Also, the heat always flows from a hotter object to a colder object. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.